This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and verse 6. And it reads through the Holy Scriptures. And thou shalt be visit of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise and storms and tempests and a flame devouring fire. And this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 11. And it reads through the Holy Scriptures. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famines and pestilence and fearful sights. And great signs shall that be from heaven. And this is the book of Second Ezra of the Apocryphal Books. The ninth chapter, verse, uh, verse 2. Then thou shalt understand it is a very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Shalom, first and foremost, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Bokar Kadash. Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well too. And I say shalom to the Akim out there. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out of those holy scriptures that I bring out and pertains to this news article. This is from RT.com. Alternative World News as of July the 6th, 2023, and it reads, the WHO warns of an imminent extreme weather event, what's been definitely been currently taking place right now, definitely in the year 2023, we're definitely seeing the increasing of these uh, tornadoes, these earthquakes, floodings, landslide, mudslides, uh, wildfires, smokes, droughts. And these are the signs from the Heavenly Father that he is visiting this earth. As I brought out the Isaiah 29 and 6, thou shalt be visit of the hurt. The Lord, thou shalt be visit of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake. So those are prime examples. Uh, second Ezra 9 and verse 2. You know, the Heavenly Father is visiting this earth with these weather-like conditions. You know, he's going to continue to visit, visit this earth with these weather-like conditions. So those are prime examples right there. So, so it has nothing to do with climate change. It has nothing to do with the changing of climate. It has nothing to do with Mother Nature. It's all by design by the, the true creator of the planet Earth, the true creator of uh, existence, which is the true creator of everything, which is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh of Israel, is the one that's going to continue to visit this earth with these weather-like conditions and weather-like patterns in many different categories. So I just want to add an additional note to that. But continuing on with the reading, it says the international body predicts a major uptick in droughts, floods, hurricanes, and other natural disasters. It says... WHO, which you know what that means. It says a direct general Tadras uh Kiberiasis, if I pronounce his name right. I mean the director general Tedros uh G Hebrius uh, has said climate change will drive a surge in extreme weather. Right, that's the key word. Crime climate change it does not have not, it has nothing to do with climate change it's all about the will of the power of the heavenly father that's visiting this earth with these extreme weather conditions and the heavenly father is gonna bring extremely weather patterns in many different categories in the weather patterns like i mentioned again the tornadoes the earthquakes the landslides uh the floodings the uh, droughts the heat wave and etc. You know, in 2023, pointing to a record-breaking temperatures around the globe this week, it says peaking during a Wednesday press conference. Tedros said the climate crisis is now among the major factors determining the human health outcome, warning that global warming could ultimately produce a wave of hunger and migration and disease 
Right, you can read that in Amos 8 and 11, that uh, famine. Even though we've been seeing famines, you know, around the world, especially in these third world countries, in these uh, war-torn countries, examples, places like Yemen, places like Syria, uh, places like Iraq, places like Myanmar, you know, s similar places like that. But we're going to see uh, famines at an alarming rate. Just like it says in 2 Ezra 15 and 5, that the Heavenly Father is going to send the sword, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, and the plagues as well, too. Right along with the Amos 8 and 11, like the scripture says, Thou shalt be uh, a famine, famine of the word, for a lack of bread, for a lack of water, for a lack of resources. You know, this is, this is what's coming on the whole world, just like those famines. In ancient Egypt, in those ancient times, hey, those famines gonna uh, make its comeback. The famines and the plagues of old and new type of famines and plagues that we are gonna witness and experience in the latter days. And we're definitely seeing increasing previews of that. Like that malaria, uh, pestilence of that was taking place of the mosquitoes that was, uh, Ever since 2003, now you're starting to see that make a comeback. Those are part of pestilence and plagues that the Heavenly Father is going to send on the planet Earth. From the pestilence and plagues for old, during ancient times, we're going to see that make a comeback slowly but surely. And new, and new different type of pestilence and plagues that we never heard of as well, too. You know, so that's part of Adam, Amos 8 and 11. Right along with the famine of the world, for lack of bread, for lack of water, for lack of resources, these uh, droughts, floodings, tornadoes, earthquakes, you know, what you people in the world call global warming, what people in the world call climate change, mother nature, or the change in the climate, that has nothing to do with those things and those categories like I just mentioned, it has something to do with the Heavenly Father and the Lord of hosts of Yahweh Bashem El Shai visiting this earth. And definitely in the weather condition categories. As I mentioned before, it says, speaking during a Wednesday's press briefing, Tejra said the climate crisis is now among the major factors during human health outcome, warning that global warming could ultimately produce a wave of hunger, migration, and disease. It says, over the coming months, we expect a range of extreme weather events, including droughts, floodings, hurricanes, heat waves, and all of which are human health. He said, also not that Mondays mark the hottest day on recorded for average temperatures around the world. It says, a prolonged drought has and a heat wave in the homes of Africa has already had a major impact in putting getting screen on local health care service treasures added containing uh about Ethiopia, Kenya, Somalia, South Sudan, Sudan and Uganda. The regional recently suffered its worst drought in decades. Nearly 60 million people now food insecure. It said some countries have seen the highest level of severity in now nutritious children in years, largely thanks to famine. It says the WHO chief said while the drought in the regional has given way to heavy rain and flooding hunger levels they are expected to remain high since I mentioned and bring up the Amos 8 and 11 alright cause we're gonna see we're gonna see an increase of uh, modern day famines as well too just like on ancient times and what we are currently seeing at alarming that's going to increase in the latter days. And this is the book of Amos, chapter 8, and verse 11. And it reads through the Holy Scriptures. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, 
Yahweh thy power, that I will send a famine in a land, not a famine nor bread nor thirst for water, but the hearing of the words of the Lord, right? Just like a famine during those ancient times. And we're going to see that increase in the in modern day times over here in Babylon and around the world as well too. As you see, the news article has mentioned that of the rise increase of the famines throughout the parts of uh, Africa, uh, Sudan, South Sudan, uh, Uganda, throughout those other places. We're going to see that around the whole world and increase. And we're going to see these uh, famines increase in these uh, major uh, major success uh, countries and towns and counties in the latter days as well too of the uh, famines but continuing on with the reading it says uh, the data released by the U.S. Natural Centers of Environmental Prediction the NC EP on Monday shows an average of global temperatures of a 17.01 degrees Celsius to 62.62 Fahrenheit and an all-time high that easily beat the previous record of 16.92 degrees. And it says locals from Texas to China to Antarctica have been in the grips of major heat waves, which some climate scientists have attribute to over all global warming and a strong than usual M New York morning weather pattern this year. M El Nio is a predicted weather cycle in which warm air is pushed away from the tropical in the uh, Pacific Ocean having far raging effects on the temperature and rainfall around the world. The uh, warm phase can produce extreme weather, including hurricanes in recent research, suggesting such events has become more frequent over the years, allegedly due to the effects of climate change. So it has nothing to do with climate change or Mother Nature. This is all the will of the power of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh of Israel. And I'm going to bring out that scripture again for a clear example of that. This is 2 Ezra chapter 9 verse 2. Then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time when the highest, which is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh of Israel, will begin to visit the world which he made in reference to these weather conditions and these, uh, Tornadoes, earthquakes, landslides, blood, muddy, floodings, droughts, wildfires, smoke, heat waves. These are designed by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh of Israel. Luke 21 and 11. And the great earthquake shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilence and fearful sights, and great signs shall that be from heaven. Right? We're going to see those chariot slappings. Hey, we're going to see more uh, great signs on the planet Earth and from heaven as well, too. And we're going to see the pestilence, the plagues that we are been seeing right now. We've been seeing the latest famines been increasing. And we've been seeing the latest increasing of earthquakes in diverse places. As you see, I've been doing, you know, increasing lessons on in regards to the earthquakes, you know, in diverse places. So all these are designed from the Heavenly Father. All these are the signs that the Heavenly Father is visiting visiting this earth with these weather-like conditions. You know, these weather-like conditions and weather category-like conditions. So we're definitely going to see the earthquakes increase, uh, the pestilence, the famines, the plagues, fearful sights, great signs. You know, all these the signs from the Heavenly Father is going to continue to uh, visit this earth now so more than ever. And I'm going to go back to Isaiah 29 and 6 and read it again for edification's sake. This is that lesson. Isaiah 29 and 6 and it reads, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise and storms and tempests and the flames of dry and fire. Right? That's the key word, the Lord of hosts. So as I was reading through that news article, 
they kept on mentioning climate change, global warming. It has nothing to do with global warming. It has nothing to do with climate change. It has nothing to do with Mother Nature. All of this is by the Lord of Hosts of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Definitely the Heavenly Father, Yahweh of Israel, is going to visit this earth with these different categories of weather patterns. And we've definitely been seeing that in the whole year of 2023. And it's going to increase. You know, and it's going to show forth now some more than ever. Because the Heavenly Father is visiting this earth with these weather like conditions. And so with that, Hopefully this uh, lesson was edifying of this recent news article from RT.com from uh, World News, Alternative World News from RT.com as of July the 6th, 2023. As it says again, the WHO warns of imminent extreme weather events, right? Extreme weather events. And we're going to see that increase. The droughts, the floods, the earthquakes, tornadoes natural disasters so all of these are designed by the heavenly father so that shows you uh, that shows you uh, increasing signs and more examples that the heavenly father is going to continue to visit this earth with these weather like conditions you know so with that hopefully this lesson was edifying I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Akarkadash Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered in four corners of the globe. Preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And until next time, I will say Shalom.